Hello and welcome to Road Rush Nation. I'm Terry, your host, and in this episode, we're going to take you to an iconic Harley movie location. Hopefully you figured it out from the intro, but we're taking you to Maggie's Cafe from the 2007 movie Wild Hogs, starring John Travolta, Tim Allen, Martin Lawrence, and William Macy. Wild Hogs was a hilarious comedy that will have you rolling. The storyline is these four middle-aged men are frustrated with their lives and decide to hit the open road and embark on a motorcycle road trip to California. They get into trouble when they run into the Dal Fuegos, their first fierce motorcycle gang, and a series of unfortunate incidents leave the wild hogs on the run from the Dal Fuegos in New Mexico, which ends up centering around Maggie's Cafe. Okay. So I'm sure you're wondering, how did we end up at Maggie's? Well, here's the story. We had been planning a road trip along Old Route 66. Our trip basically started in Joplin, Missouri, where we met up with my husband's cousin and his wife, who traveled down from Indianapolis to make the trip with us. We've taken many cross-country trips with them, and we always have a great time. So many people end up talking about taking this Route 66 trip and you have to stop at many of the traditional tourist stops. But when I plan a trip, it's never typical. And yes, we did stop at many of those places. And if you want to find out where they are and what they are, then you know what you got to need to do. You got to make sure you hit the like, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of those adventures because I, I love to share them with you. So now back to how I plan our road trips. I will look and research before we ever take a trip to find that unusual and off the beaten path places to see. I always like to keep a few surprises up my sleeve. My thought is who wants to only go to the places that everybody talks about? You wanna see the things that are unusual. How about you start talking about the different trip? Well, that's how we ended up taking our Harleys on a cruise ship. Oh, you wanna know about that adventure? Well, there'll be a link up at the top of this video if you want to check that out. Okay, so here's my advice. When you're planning a trip, get a map and start looking for those sites that might be interesting and different to see. You know, if you're going to do it on the internet, just expand it, get it really minute down, and you'll see some really crazy things that might be there that you want to see. So look beyond the interstate. Interstates were designed to get you from point A to B. I'm not a fan of just going point A to B. I ride them when we have to, but I look for the other road less traveled. It's a great way to see the beauty of the US and you get to meet some amazing and fascinating people. That's how we ended up in Madrid. I always wanna call it Madrid like they do in the movies. If I know the area we are traveling, going to travel through, I will get online and start looking for that local tourism group. They'll send you all these free maps and catalogs of the region. See, the thing is that many of the smaller and less known attractions will advertise this way because of cost. This is how you can find out some pretty cool lesser known places. Also, just Google out interesting places to visit for that area. You might be amazed at what you find. I have to say, I thought just getting to Maggie's would be fun, but the ride there turned out to be a great route for bikes. When we travel, I try and make sure we stay out of the larger cities. There's a few reasons why, but it's always a better experience. So I knew traveling through New Mexico, we didn't want to stay in Albuquerque. So we stopped 40 miles east at the small community of Edgewood. It was perfect. And we stayed at the Comfort Inn and Suites. The place was very nice and the staff was great. There's not many hotels in Edgewood, so if you're gonna stop there, make reservations. You'll see that Edgewood put us just 30 miles from Madrid and Maggie's Cafe. We thought the ride would be fun, but boy were we surprised. When you get in here to the San Pedro Mountains, there's some great curvy roads that you're going to enjoy. And then when you hit your intersection here, this will take you right up New Mexico 14 North, right up through some other great windy roads until you hit Madrid. When I talk about great rides, let me show you. So hang on, this is one of the curvy spots going downhill. This was awesome.
Okay, I might have sped that up a little bit, but it's time to get into Madrid and see Maggie's place. So let me give you a little bit of history about this little town. It used to be a mining town, and it's on the turquoise highway between Albuquerque and Santa Fe. But let me tell you the real secret of Maggie's place. It never existed there until the movie Wild Hogs. The owner of the property, it was a vacant lot there. And when Hollywood came calling, they wanted to know if they could build Maggie's Cafe there. The owner of the property said, yes, on one condition. You leave the building after the movie's over. So Maggie's Cafe never was a cafe and isn't to this day. It's actually a little novelty shop with lots of Harley goods and lots of Maggie Wild Hog items. It's really a great place for you to stop, take some photo ops, and say, hey, wild hogs. So I hope you enjoyed this. Put this on your next trip. It's well worth it, the ride and just getting to Maggie's. And the little town of Madrid is really awesome. It's an eclectic artist colony there. So take some time, put it on your next route. Thanks for coming along on our road trip to Maggie's. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on our next adventure. Thanks for watching and we hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on the next adventure. Take care, ride safe, and enjoy life. Remember, life's too short, so let's go ride.